Good morning. It's Thursday, and it's time for our daily devotion. Uh, today, our text is kind of, sort of, a repeat of the uh, text we had early on Monday. This is uh, the Ascension uh, in the Gospel of Luke, and Monday we read it from Acts. Same author, uh, part one, part two, we think of it, Luke and Acts. Uh, but here's the here's the text from uh, Luke 24, 44 through 53. Then he, Jesus, said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, people groups, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. The song I have for this morning is called One is the Body. It's uh, uh, it's number 386 in the Voices Together hymnal. It's one of many songs that come out of the Iona community in Scotland. It goes like this. Ba, ba, ba. That's probably a little too high. Ba, ba, ba. Bum, bum, ba, ba. Bum, ba, ba. Bum, ba, 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 ba. One is the body, and one is the head. One is the spirit by whom we are led. One God and mother, one faith and one call for all. Christ who ascended to heaven above is the same Jesus whose nature we is love. Who once descended to bring to this earth new birth. Gifts have been given well suited to each. Some to be prophets, to pastor or preach. Some through the gospel to challenge, convert, and teach. Called into service are women and men, so that this body might ever again witness through worship, through deed, and through word to Christ. Amen.